Well, hi there. So I'm going to be making a shawl in my ballast stitch. And uh, this is a really fun stitch. And I have so much fun doing it, I decided, oh, I'm going to make a shawl in that. So I'm using Riot Chunky Yarn. It's bulky yarn. And the color is... There it is over there. It is called Heather Shade. And uh, th so the shade is 3179 Heather. And it's a really pretty combination of colors. Um, there's light pinky purples and some greens and um, some purples. And they're just all nice, really nice pastel colors. And the yarn is, um, I think it's about 50 50 wool and acrylic. No, it's 70 acrylic and 30 wool. So there you go. And it is a bulky yarn. And then the loom I'm using is a Cindy Wood loom. And this came from their replacement um, of the Nifty Knitter type circle sets. And this is the uh, three quarter inch 30 peg loom. And I decided I would use 28 pegs. So I've marked my two end pegs here. And these will be my two beginning pegs. And you can use even or odd. It doesn't make any difference. But uh, just have two pegs for your ends. Okay. And uh, the loom hook I'm using is one I had made um, from a company back east in Canada. They don't make loom hooks anymore. But you can get similar ones to this on Etsy. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm just going to take my yarn and I'm going to put it into a slip knot. Just like that. Put it on the first peg and snug it. And then I'm just going to uh, make sure it's nice and snug. And I can just put mine on the Cindy Wood little hook here, but you can just pull on it to keep it tight. And then I'm just going to um, loom hook in here, scoop it up like this to make a loop. And once I've got that loop, I'm just going to put it behind the next peg snug it up. Now, if you have trouble doing this, this is a crochet chain cast on. You can always do some other kind of cast on. Um, this one is the nicest one for not curling with the edge I'm going to do. And uh, it looks the nicest, I think. But if you have a cast on you like better, go ahead and use that. I'm just going to keep going behind the peg, the working yarn through and tighten it up. I kind of my system where I go tighten, tighten, tighten to get the right tension. <laughs> you don't have to do that. You can just do it all in one thing, however you like doing it. You don't want to get it so tight you can't knit them over, but you don't want your cast on edge to be loose either. So you're just going to snug it up as you go. That's all there is to it. So I'm just going to put you on pause so I can keep this video a decent length. So when it uploads to, it won't take forever. <laughs> and so then we'll just catch up when I get to the end of this row. Okay, so now I've got the loop and I'm over to the last peg. So on the last peg, I'm just going to put the loop over it and tighten and get my loom hook. And I'm just going to secure it by doing a U-wrap over it. Okay, and then for my uh, base stitch, I'm just going to do two rows of owl eye. So to do owl eye, we're going to go back over this peg. We're going to keep it loose and we're going to knit over. And for owl eye, we're always on peg one. We always wrap one and two like that. We're on peg one. We go over one and two, knit it over. We're on peg one. We go over peg one and two. Very easy stitch to do. I have plenty of stitches where I used owl eye plus my owl eye stitch video on YouTube. Okay, we're on peg one. We go over one and two. All there is to it. I'm just going to knit all the way to the end. Okay. 
all there is to this stitch. Very easy and goes very quickly. So again, I'm going to put you on pause till I get to the end of the row and we will see you in a bit. Okay, so I'm coming to the end here, finishing off the owl eye stitch. Now whenever I'm going to let this go now, and whenever you coming back, you're always going to go over like this when you're coming back from owl eye, keeping this loose and then just knitting it off. And then we're just going to do the second row of owl eye and we're going to go to the end. So I'm going to put you on pause again and then we'll be ready to start the banner stitch. And it's just a one row stitch, really easy stitch and goes really fast. So you'll be whipping up out that shawl in no time at all. It's one of the faster shawls to do. Okay, so I will meet you up at the end of the row. Okay, so I'm just finishing up this row. Okay, now to start the row for the banner stitch, what we're going to do is go loosely over peg one and two. Okay, and then peg two, we're going to go right into the banner stitch. Peg two is always going to be done a little different than the rest of the ones of the row so that we can have a good edge. Okay, so now what we're going to do is go over the two like we're doing owl eye, except we're going to come back behind the two and go over them again. So now we're going to have two loops on them. Now we're going to take the two bottom loops and put them over the top and the two bottom loops here and put them over the top. Now you may get confused because this one comes up high, but the top loop is always going to be the one that you're holding with the yarn, not your top. And then we're going to just pull the other two over the top again. Okay, then we're on peg one, just like when we're doing owl eye. We're going to go over one and two again, but we're going to go behind and wrap over a second time. And then the two bottom loops go over the top. And again, the two bottom loops go over the top one. We're on peg one. We go over one and two behind them and over one and two again. Knit it over. Knit it over. We're on peg one. We go over one and two behind and over them again. Knit the two bottom ones over the top. It's pretty easy. We're on peg one over one and two behind and over again. Bottom ones over the top. Now to just take a quick look. Just because look at how much look at how much we've got. We have the two owl eye rows down here, but we're already starting to get a lot of pattern because this stitch goes so fast. Okay. So you want to wonder where you are. So you look at where this, because you had to put it down. You look at where is, where is it? It's coming out of this peg. You can see it's either on this side or this side, but it's coming out of this peg. So this is the peg we're going to wrap over one and two behind and over again. So you can put down your work and easily know where you were. If you're wondering which direction you're going, you're going to look and you're going to see that you have a lot more work here than you have here. So you must be going this way. And also when you look at your yarn, right, you're going to see that there's a loop here and you're going over the loop. And when you pull, you're pulling on it from that direction. That tells you what direction you are going. Okay, so we're on peg one. We go over one and two and over one and two again. And then we just knit them over. And knit it over. And never get confused because the top one is always the one where you're taking the two over. Peg one, 
make sure it's always the bottom two that go over the top. Yarn peg one around like that again. And over the top. And peg one. Very, very fast stitch. I'm just going to put you on pause and I will catch up when we're at the end of the row again. Okay, we're caught up. So I'm going to show you how we're going to be doing the edges now that we're doing a longer stitch and we have to balance the edges. So here we are in peg one, going over one and two, getting that off. Now we're back on the first marked peg. So we're going to do it normally like that. But now that we're on this peg, we're going to go over peg two and one, like just like we do owl eye. We're going to do the owl eye edge, coming back loose, knitting it over. But we want the stitch to be longer, so we're going to go back and go over one and two again. So see that? One peg one, and I'm coming over behind and just knitting these two off. And that's going to give you a longer stitch on the edge. Okay, now we're on the peg two again, and now we go into the pattern. So we're going to come around twice, knit it off. Then we're going to go all the way to the edge. Whoop, <laughs> I only went over once there. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. So we have to come back, put that on. this over properly. There we go. And now we're going to come over twice. So sometimes when I'm talking, <laughs> I stop thinking. <laughs> Big reveal. <laughs> this is really, really easy. So you wonder where you were. See, this is your top one because you're holding on to it. So if that ever happens, and then you can also pull your work down to make it easier. Okay, we're on peg one. We go over one and two. And I always hold my yarn with my fingers to help hold it up. And that helps me to see which stitches are under. There. Okay, over one and two. Yeah, I'm having a little bit of trouble from the angle I'm at, but that's okay. I just want to make sure you can see. Whoop. There. There. I turn the angle this way. Um, I think you can still see it just be a little bit easier for me. We're going to go over one and two. Okay, I'm going to go over one and two. Okay, and so we're just going to keep going. And when we get to the edge, we will catch up. I'm already quite a ways around, but we'll just have a look at it now that we got two layers of yarn. Look at that. That's just two rows. And look how much we have. That's a really pretty textured stitch too. And on the other side, it looks pretty cool. When it gets longer, you'll see it has a pattern like this. But this side is a lot nicer. And it just goes so fast. Okay, so I will catch up to you when I get to this other end here. We'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I've done my stitch all the way to here. So after we've done this, the, the, this two pegs like this, then to go do the edge, we just go over this edge once like this. And knit it off. We come back. Nice and loose and knit it off. Then we come back and knit over it one more time to give us that longer edge. And then we come back like this to do the stitch. Okay, I'm going to show you what the edge looks like. 
now that we've done the edge a couple times. So see, this has made our edge, so the edge is just as long as the stitch here. If we can get into a good light so you can see it here, there we go. So this edge is longer because I've done this. We need to get longer so you can see it, but it will be, the edge will be as long as the stitch. The stitch is too, still pretty small to actually pull down, but we've done three rows and we're this far in now. And there's our edge being as long as the stitch. See? Okay, and to see what the edge looks like so far, I mean, we do, do need to go more. It just looks like this and it kind of echoes the stitch. And here you can look at it on this side. This yarn gets thicker and fatter, so <laughs> sometimes it can be easier to see it where it's all kind of thinner. It gives you a look like this at the edge. Okay, so that's all there is to it. And you just keep going. So I'll catch up um, to, you'll catch up to me in a bit. I'm just going to knit ahead and then we'll check in when we've got a lot done. And we've got a beautiful shawl that's getting close to binding off. So we'll see you in a little while and have fun. Okay, I've got a lot further on the shawl. Here we are, and I'm going to take you to a video of how to bind off in a few in a few seconds. Um, so all you do when you get it to the length you want is do two rows of owl eyes so it matches the beginning, and then we'll do the bind off. Uh, video. So it'll be on another project because I already have that bind off video. We'll do a bind off and then you will see um, how it, how nicely that bind off matches this cast on. So yeah, there it is. Nice and long. It's a beautiful shawl. Looks great on the other side too. So I'll take you to the bind off and I hope you enjoy making this. So now we will be binding off. So what we do is we just measure one, go down there, we come back two because we want to be long enough and then they say, most people say, do it about three times. So I'm going to do it close to three times. And um, I'm just going to put you on pause because I have to find a scissors and a needle. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to cut it right here. There we go. And I have my needle. Threading the needle. Okay. And um, I'm just going to give this a little tug here so it's not too loose. And then I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to go down. So I'm going to go inside this loop on this peg and put the working yarn through it. And snug it up and then I'm going to go back up the first peg. Okay, snug it up a bit and I'm going to go around, around the second peg and in front of it and then I'm going to go down this peg and then up the second peg, snugging it up as I go, and then around the between the two pegs and around the front. So basically that's all we're going to be doing is we're going to be going down the peg in front, back to the peg we had done before, and then going around. down the peg and around and up the peg. 
and around and then down the next peg up the peg before let's get this close right now and we're always pulling it tight and then between the two pegs we just did around and then we'll be going down this next peg making sure the working yarn doesn't get all <laughs> hung up up the peg before and around tightening it as I go down and around down and then up and around and then down the last one whoop and the work needle came out <laughs> so we better re do the needle. Okay, and then up and there we've gone through every peg so we're just going to go back down the first one like that and I'm going to come down it again There, just to secure it more and then you'll just be weaving in your end. So now you can take it off the loom. Okay. Hey. 